I'm David. You shouldn't break the law. But if you want to, there's a way to get around it. And that way is basically hiding your license plate. Now there's kind of a myth that these things didn't exist. And I actually scrolled all the way down Amazon's first page of searches to see if license plate hiders actually existed. One of those things where are these things even allowed to be made? And I found one on Amazon Prime and ordered one. I went through a bunch of different options. One of them flipped downward this way, and then the other one had a screen on it, basically like closing the blinds. And that's the one I got. So here I have an official hideaway license plate that you shouldn't buy, by the way, but we're gonna myth bust it to see how effective it is. Now, again, he is charged with a felony for failure to pay a dollar and 25 cent toll. Because the tag was obscured, we don't know yet how many times this vehicle has run the toll. So essentially we're gonna install this on Smurf Mustang behind me and basically see what happens. Cause this is $150 and it's really cheap plastic. And so, so far I feel like I got maybe a little ripped off, but uh, we're gonna see. So a lot of the argument is with this stuff is that, oh, well, I'm gonna go through a toll and close this and I won't get in trouble. I don't know. We're gonna find out and see how hard it is to install. I have my colleague Santiago and my buddy Eddie here to help me. Are you ready? I'm going to read these lovely, totally not Chinese directions <laughs> about how to install this. Okay, so what we have here, hideaway plate description. There is literally no directions on how to install it. Cause they, I guess they think you're just that smart just in case, cause it really is. It seems like you literally just put the plate in here and then it closes. It literally says all the options here. Anti-concealed camera, safeguarding personal privacy, as in I have a warrant and I'm trying to get away. Standard size license plate frame, sleek appearance and covert at the same time. Fast moving, it just needs 1.5 seconds. 1.5 seconds, boys. How are we gonna outrun 1.5 seconds? I don't know. But here's the thing though, I feel like if a police officer has seen you already, they most likely are already trying to look at your plate. So I guess the moment that somebody pulls out to come get you, you'd be like, eh, mm -hmm. but don't run them from the police. It usually doesn't work out. Watch one episode of Cops. Okay. <laughs> Control distance is approximately 100. Dude, so you can, okay, so this claims that we could be 100 feet away from this thing and it'll still work. So we have to test that. We should, you know what we should do? We should test it upstairs and be down here. Yeah. I think it's pretty promising, so I'm pretty excited. The installation is pretty straightforward. So you have this indicator to sit on your dash to tell you if it's actually working or not. If you didn't notice, it came with two in case you're in a two different state or two plate law state. Um, most useless law of all time, in my opinion. The way it works is you take a 12 volt cigarette lighter so you don't have to wire anything in, which is super convenient. And also, you won't have to be trying to plug it into the battery and all that kind of stuff under the hood, which is good. So you just have this control module right here that makes you feel like you're James Bond and you hit all the buttons. And that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, right here, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna unwrap all this and see how it all kind of lays out. Whenever I do these plastic things, it makes me think of like Christmas. When you opened a toy and they had like oh, yeah. 16 of them. Hey George, Yes. what's the likelihood of getting away with this license plate? Um, it, with your luck, it'll probably fail when you need it to not fail. Buy stock Honda, still breaks. <laughs> No, God, please, no! FML. <laughs> this thing looks like it's gonna fall apart in five seconds. It is definitely Chinese. Okay, let me see this real quick. Where did you buy this kit from? Is Amazon. What is this? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> no! No, 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 no. No oh, way. That's, that's no way. That's right so there. 007. This is like... Okay, so do you know how it works yet? Yeah, so it has a shade that drops it. This is like, up here. I'm gonna teach you this with this antenna. Okay, for the first trial run of this product, we're basically just gonna open the door, plug it in the cigarette lighter, and see what happens. Therefore, we don't waste all this time, you know, trying to route it and all that stuff just to see what happens, see if it actually works. I told George about this this morning. <laughs> we were working on a BMW. And I was like, hey dude, I got this like super stealth license plate. And you're like, can I come over? Can I hang out? Hello. I want to be just as cool. 
<laughs> is everybody that talks about these in the car community, nobody ever buys them. No. So now I'm a pioneer. <laughs> it work, right? Man, I'm gonna be really hiding from Depopo with a grabber blue car. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's dirty, I got clean that. Guys, the cops, the cops will never know. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, it has a red light. This actually works out because this is black and right where my license plate is black. So you wouldn't really be able to notice. It looks all natural. All natural. These tiny little screws is all that holds it together. Open it up like a door. Just like that. You broke it. That was not <laughs> dead serious. That was not supposed to happen. It's okay, it's just a sliding hinging door. Who be that? Oh, Who's there? Up, bro? <laughs> it's not like a cola, it tastes like uh, rusty metal. You yeah, just yeah. think that because we live in Atlanta, and if you don't yeah. like if you don't like Coca Cola, it's like a sin. If you live in Atlanta and you drink Pepsi, everyone's like, "What are you drinking? Why are you doing that?" Those are though. Mm-hmm. Here, lift up your fingers. I need some light. I think I can see it. Here, don't move. I'll do the cigarette lighter, Eddie, when I'm up there. Hidden license plate test one. Hit the button. Nothing. <laughs> Do it again. No way. It works? It freaking works. Wait. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking trash now. That's pretty That's amazing. Awesome. Wait, and I have the remote. So, Eddie, it's which button? H slash B. I don't have it on here, so I guess I'll just hit any of them. Hold on. Yeah. <gasps> this makes me so happy. And 007. Wait. <laughs> you watch me. <laughs> this is amazing, dude. Right, Eddie hasn't seen it yet, so I'm gonna get his visual reaction. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's perfect. Dude, it, you would never know. You would never freaking know, dude. Why is the module beeping? It's flashing on A. What? I guess that's just to let you know. Oh, it's because it doesn't sense a connection to the other one, probably. I guess, so we Here, gotta plug in I, the other one. Yeah, actually, no, can we just unplug this one? To where it doesn't think it's not working. David, do you want to sell me one of these? Did it stop? I just, so San Diego has the pizza. Look, 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 Wait, don't don't look yet. I'm not looking. You already know. Is that the magic? Yes. Is that the magic? Wait, come here. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm gonna get your reaction. Okay. okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Fastest <laughs> boy. <laughs> wow. Okay, so how would we even root that, dude? Um, no idea. You're gonna drill a hole in your bumper. Oh man! Kick a hole in. You should probably put so this on, this on something else that's not as nice as this. You no, know, I agree. It would work a lot better on the 240, or honestly. The yeah, because you, you have the that hollow bumper behind. Oh, it. you're right. Oh, the Pathfinder's got that hinge. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, seriously, I do not condone using this on the street. I make it as clear as possible. But for a party trick. It's so cool. Uh, we went, we were so pessimistic. We went from, this is so dumb to, I can't stop. Like, I literally can't, like, dude, like, oh, dude, how are you feeling today? I mean, I'm feeling great. Oh, sad day. We should time it. I got it. Oh, wait. <laughs> this claims 1.5 seconds. Let's see. We're going to get as close as we can with Santiago's human reflexes. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, go. That oh, wasn't wait. it. No. <laughs> All right. One more time. Ready? One, two, three, go. Stop. Oh, so, okay. We stopped a little early, and that's very accurate. I can't stop. So, Eddie's going to try and shine some light through it to see if it makes any difference. And it doesn't. So, you're going it's down solid. the highway at night, and the lights hit it, and. Nope, nothing. Nothing. That's sick. <laughs> 
It's amazing. It's also highly dangerous and don't do it. Yeah, don't. Honestly, we are all joking about we should put it on my drift car when it's done. Like after my drift car is finally revealed and everything, which I'm gonna make a really awesome series about, by the way, it's gonna be great. But it's gonna be so funny going down the track and just be like, you should see it go down. Like, we'll put a GoPro, like, right here on the rear bumper in mid slide. Be like, <laughs> so stupid. God dang it. So on this remote, there's A, B, and C. A is for the front, B is for the back, and C is for both at the same time. Whoa! So, I'm gonna click C, and it, and it raises up just like the back does. Then if you click B, that's for the back, and A. My my license plate was way too bent up, and I couldn't hit it. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> I love it, man. I know it's so addicting, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so here's the inner workings of the license plate frame that hides everything. It's literally, if you think about it, you're at a school play and you have the curtain right here and you have the little gear right here that pulls it down. Power source and these tiny, tiny little motors. They, like, they're ridiculous. So all you have to do is hit the button and there it goes. It doesn't come all the way down to here because it interferes, but when you lift it back up, you see why. You lift it up. Okay, so you lift it up and you see everything wiggling and moving and the power is going through here. So I'm gonna get this as close as I can. Look at these tiny little gears move when the button is hit. It's actually quite intricate and it's pretty ingenious. Because if you think about it, most of these kind of frames are very cheaply made. Well, this is cheaply made, but in other words, it's like this and all they do is flip the plate to be horizontal. So whoever's behind you, you can't see it. This is a literal thing that's $100 cheaper and it has an electric motor in it. So pretty cool stuff. Definitely worth the purchase just to fulfill my 007 fantasy. Hey friends and colleagues, did you find the $150 Amazon license plate hider worth the money? Um, Honestly, yes, just for our enjoyment. Like no, like for real, like don't buy this to break the law. If you're gonna get this, be a party trick. You know, like go to a car show and be like, oh, look at me, bro. We all had the exact same reaction. All of us did the pause of the, huh, to, ah. Like it was like this beautiful dopamine release. Yeah, dopamine. When you think movie license plate hider, he said the same thing. You think of transporter. Yeah. You think of this, flipping to this, flipping to this, <laughs> flipping to this, and to be a different person. But if you thought about it hypothetically in a movie scenario, this is way more effective. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Cause it's like, oh look, he's registered here. Oh look, he's registered here. Oh, is that your LLC in Montana? Oh, is he registered? This is just, you're gone. Disappear. You're just gone. You know, in a grabber blue car, cause right. we're totally For gonna sure. get away. <laughs> but, but as a fun car exercise, I thought that was, this was such a fun, stupid idea. And if you guys wanna see more product stuff like this, me, Eddie, and Santiago, we have a bunch of ideas in the future. But if you have any other silly or mythical car movie tools that you want us to install, please put in the comment section below. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. You know what we should do next, right? We should make a James Bond smoke screen. Yes. Like with a fog machine. Yeah. Ooh, oh no. Right <laughs> see in a year. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not gonna work out at all. But no, I'm honestly probably gonna put this on my drift car whenever that's done. Cause it'd be a fun off-roading, not on the street party trick. And mid drift, it'd be hilarious. Just be distract the person behind you trying to tandem. Just be like, beep. And you're like, what is happening to their car? It's metamorphosizing. <laughs> it's like uh, Power Rangers. <laughs> <They're combined. laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, we got to uninstall all this shit. <laughs> <laughs>